podcast, Bullet Bills Big Three, baby, it's the news. I'm your host, Baron Marth, and I'm joined, as always, by the uh, Wild West cowboy that is Angry Link. How are you doing, buddy? Tired. Stormy nights. Stormy Erratic nights. Erratic sleep patterns and annoying dogs um, barking and waking me up at four in the morning. So, yeah, fun night. Been sleeping well, then? Yeah. Um, so, you know, just plowing through and struggling on but that's the way it goes <sighs> well what can I say it's a bitch but either way we're going to hit up some news um, yeah. and more importantly the big bounties of the week and um, you're taking our first bounty aren't you Link yes yes uh, well obviously we've heard from Rockstar this week uh, GTA Online obviously the gun running update has now been confirmed uh, June the 8th yeah uh, we've known about it for a while to be fair but now we've seen a few teasing shots and a few details have dropped. So, again, it drops June the 8th. Um, so it's a case of probably get the shark cards in or start abusing the bonuses and the the uh, stuff that they do each week to get the cash saved because there's going to be some underground bunkers and some new military-grade vehicles and probably weapons and clothes. and. Oh, man, it's going to cost an reason- absolute <coughs> shit bomb <laughs> yeah. of money. Yeah, so I'm thinking whatever the reservoirs you had left on there that you sort of got, you're like, right, I'm at this level, I can't let it get to below this. Yeah. It's probably going to drop somewhat soon. Um, I've got 11 million set in the bank. Yeah, I can imagine. There's obviously underground bunkers. Oh, so man, that's head- just going to be sploosh, gone. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's, there's going to be the typical ads and add-ons and bits and bobs. So you can turn your... Here's the base price, and here's what you really need to spend. Yeah, here's the, I spent a lot of money on getting the absolute bare minimum, and here's what you actually need to... No, no, and it's the... Blow. Oh, oh, and uh, was that the Megalodon shark card as well, sir? Yeah, yeah, very much so. By the way, people, I'm slipping coffee. I brought coffee to the podcast, right? Got to keep this wired. Yeah, (laughs) this isn't even... uh, This is so unprofessional. So during the podcast, you will hear hear me go... Uh, just just ride with it. I need this. I need this black amber in my life. Um, so, so, moving on. <laughs> Sorry about yeah. that. Yeah. So, yeah, that drops June the 8th. Uh, no doubt a trailer will drop in the next week or so. Yeah. So, we'll probably be, maybe if it's a sparse week in the run-up to E3, which I doubt it will be. I um, foresee the, uh, the future of the podcast going something like this. GTA, the Phoenix game, is back again. Because yeah. <laughs> we'll be yeah. on the... Or at least the B button. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, we'll we'll probably see some more details of that soon. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. Cool, cool. Okay, well, shifting over to the second bounty for this week. Uh, it's it's kind of like everybody's woken up a little bit. So we've all known for a while that the PlayStation Pro won't run 4K native. We we just know that. But recently, in the last week or so, everyone's kind of gone. Hold it, wait. We need to post articles on how Destiny 2 is not going to run at 60 frames per second like on 4K on the PS4 Pro. I don't know why they're doing it, but they've done it now. Yeah. So everyone's kind of woken up a little bit. Uh, you've got Phil Spencer on the, in the Xbox camp sat there going, don't worry, the Scorpio is going to be the most powerful gaming experience that you're ever going to have. It'll be great, blah, 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 pitch, pitch, pitch. It seems like um, everyone's down on the PS4 Pro, and it's kind of making me wonder a little bit where it leaves Sony with Destiny in their relationship. Yeah. Um, well, I, th- I think that the main rabbit in the room with concerning Destiny is the fact that everybody who's played it is just like, yeah, PC. Just <laughs> uncapped 4K. Yeah. <laughs> bam. Uh, mouse and keyboard. Fuck Brutal, you. isn't Fuck it? Fuck you. Headshot. Bam, 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 bam. Um, so I think that didn't help, but if they didn't show off PC when they were there, they'd have got roasted for it. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I think it is, it's a difficult one. I mean, I don't think uh, Destiny, I think, um, sorry, Bungie themselves even said or alluded to that Destiny on console will only run at 30. So that's kind of the implication that even Scorpio, it will probably run native K, uh, 4K. But I don't know if it will obviously the continue to the yeah. Yeah. If all I'm gonna say, if you've got the horsepower, use it. Do it. Yeah. Do it. I wanna I wanna see this flip completely Xbox's way. 
Yeah. I want to see like after Sony cut that fat check and they've enjoyed the last four years being like yeah yeah or how long it's been I want to see it flip the other way I want to see Xbox be like yeah here's my cash card here's my Megalodon card why me yeah. so I don't I don't know we'll have to see obviously again as we lead to we'll, we'll know more coming through yeah because uh, we know it's going to be a big one for Xbox this year because obviously they're showing off Scorpio yep we'll finally know what it's really called yeah yeah um, yeah they can't keep Scorpio you know the way that everybody falls in love with that sort of pre-name they're like oh I wish they kept it as the NX you know yeah. all that sort of stuff not with this one they was like yeah you might as well call it the Xbox Virgo you know yeah <laughs> <laughs> not very good right well look moving on to the bonus bounty so this is a showdown uh, who gets the bonus bounty each week um, we decided to keep a score about this which it's currently I, well I just don't know if it's necessary anymore do we do we do we really is it important for us to keep scores well, it's, there's somewhat of a trend seeming to form well I just I, you know I don't think the, the listener really wants it rammed down their throat I mean I can't even remember what the score was but the important thing is I, I believe it was 2-1 uh, to it, the angry link yeah, well yeah so the bonus bounty winner of this week is link so that's 3-1 yeah, to the angry link. Moving on. Wait a minute, can I borrow that pen? I need to write this down. Go on, scribble away. Write it down. You actually get to hear the scratching, folks. No, because you've got a lovely pen that's got a delightful action on the roller ball. It's a lovely action. So, um, go on then. Disappointing news. Yeah, I love the way that you've trumped me with some really shitty news. But not unexpected, to be fair. I think most people that have known the company that we're about to talk about would be like, yeah, and? Yeah. Um, it's I'm, that uh, thing yeah so yeah Red Dead obviously Red Dead Redemption 2 it was due out in the, the fall of this year so a mere for me fun, uh, a few months away easy for you to say <laughs> I wish it were so yeah it's been pushed back unsurprisingly to um, obviously first it was said spring 2018 which can allude to god knows when but then they further clarified it by saying it's going to be the fiscal year beginning uh or sorry, the fiscal year of 2019, which begins for Rockstar on the 1st of April. So, so when they say spring, they mean like just before we'll summer. We'll spring it on you when we can be bothered. Yeah. 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 Um, oh, the Punisher. You know, it's not really much of a surprise, to be fair. We've seen many, many delays from Rockstar before. Yeah, yeah. They um, are known for it. But it's you know, somewhat of a grand scale game. You can try and... Like you say, it's not, it's not a, a star citizen... Um, we can get you an alpha, maybe? Yeah, do you want to have a go on that? No. Yeah, so it's it's not that bad, but, you know, obviously Robert, uh, sorry, the Take-Two CEO, Zell Nick, or Mr. Zelenik, I think it is. Mm, yeah, so yeah. I can't remember his first name. Whatever his name is. I can't even read my writing either. <laughs> the guy with the face, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, obviously, he basically came out and said this week, it doesn't really matter when it comes out, because... Yeah, I love that. <laughs> I don't think it was a case of because we know it's going to sell a complete shitload. It, it wasn't really ma- it's just a case of people consume media in different ways. It's not so much about the yes, yeah, yeah. time frames that people used to allude to. Nice um, touch, yeah. But really, the 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 subtext, or even if it wasn't meant to be there, but what was read and what was understood is like, and and nobody disagreed with. We've got GTA Online. They had announced at the time that they've just sold their eighty millionth copy of it. Yeah. And um, we've got the Gun Runner update, which we know we're going to generate another at least a hundred million from shark card sales because people are lazy and yep. they've got more money than they than and, time. And we drop more shit than you've got time to pay for. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they also alluded to a highly anticipated title from Two K, which in the articles that I was uh, reading, obviously this from. Um, well, we went. Well, oh, obviously, it must be you know Borderlands Three. But, but then we were like, but they've also got like NBA twenty eighteen. Yeah. So you could just be stating the fucking obvious, and you're just too stupid to pick up on that. You're like reading into it. Oh great! Oh great! Yeah, but here it is. It's NBA. Yeah. Fuck, man. Because <laughs> I I can't assume Rockstar are going to be at um, E three, but I'm sure Take Two have got some presence there. So they need something. And then and again, we know. Obviously, old Mister, is it? It's Randy Pitchford, isn't it? Doing his um, thing. Um, he's been obviously tweeting Pitching away, away. And, uh, <laughs> alluding and tipping his hat and having winks yeah. and chuckles to himself. Don't you know? Yeah. Elbow barge, so, elbow barge. If it is Borderlands, it's not going to be much of a surprise. But it wouldn't be a surprise if it's not. If it's not. Yeah. Well, I mean, what? 
when they said that it was coming out this year and I, sh- they, I saw what they were releasing as in here's a banner and here's a quick glimpse of something which might be the character and might not all you know mm. it was all like you. F- this feels like you're a long way away well no it's I remember when we saw Grand Theft Auto V first of all because we were like wow that is a stunning stunning trailer mm-hmm. I can't wait for that when that eventually slips and comes out yeah 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 because you just knew it it was just like here's what we've got we can get a cool trailer out of it and then we've got really hard years ahead of us of making the game and then obviously <laughs> that's the head honchos and then this like the people who are actually having to make the game that several hundred people that are fucking in studios all around the world going like, on on the conference call for the managers or the, the, yeah. the leads of their department just like Dave do they know how much work we've still actually got to do and they're like we tried to tell them, yeah, but yeah, they yeah. won't listen. And it's, you know, yes, you know but what they're, they're ignoring like. us. <laughs> yeah, I know, but you really have to stress this. It's like they've assured us that they know that it's not going to hit its date. Yeah, Link, but it, they're just they're just holding out. They they don't even bother with all that conversation no. anymore. They just simply say crunch time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, I mean, but, it's eighteen months. Yeah, eighteen months of crunch. Yeah, go. <laughs> yeah, we've we've heard some like Red Dead has claimed some. Some uh, ire, I suppose, is a good way to describe it. Mm-hmm. Over some forums and some anonymous wives have talked about their their spouses' uh, experiences and partners and whatnot. So you know, I just hope it doesn't slip again. But Are you just hoping that for the, like the wives and children of, of the developers? Let's say or husbands. I'm, let's say yes. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go for that angle. Good. I'm seeing, I'm seeing more humanitarian. <laughs> yeah, right now. not from this seat. So look, there it is. All right, three one to you. You got it. There we go. It's, yeah. Um, so I suppose I can just sit back now, relax, and slip, uh, slip, sip my delightful fruit juice. Oh, so you brought drinks as well? I have. We're so perfect. I love the way that, like we're just on the podcast like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the listener will love this. Anyway, look, rocking on. We're going to hit the bounty board. So this is where I've got to run numerous bounties to ground just to try and build my cash up. Just to get even. Whilst you sit there and lord it up on your bag of... my sarsaparilla. Fat swag, yes. Um, So, first bounty. It's got to be um, Xbox Game Pass. The Netflix of games. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, great news. You can download it, play it, and then when you stop paying us money... You can't play it anymore. Yeah. So I just I I love that you know sort of it's just a sort of evolution of gold. Well, I I obviously we I've got my one word summarization of this. Mm. The Xbox Game Pass. Yep. Pass. Nice. There um, we go. I mean, it's eight pound a month, and you can cancel any time. But I was saying to you, you can't call it the Netflix of games. It's more like Love Film because you've got to wait for it to download. It's not like PlayStation now. I was saying, yeah, yeah. I would be more Can't stream. I would be more sort of likely to play that because it's a game like Netflix. You're like, oh, I don't want to keep it. In. I, I want to watch Wolf Cop. I just want to watch it because yeah, it yeah. sounds awesome. Yeah, I yeah. know it's going to be terrible, but I'll play it for. I'll watch it for a bit and then Free get Gigi's. bored. Exactly. Yeah. So I just can't. No, for me, it's there's nothing in there that would enamour me to want to spend a hundred and. Well, yeah, a hundred odd quid a year when the three games I could probably pick up for sixty quid. It's really for me. It's really really simple. Great, great that you've done it, Xbox. What I'm going to do is going to sit here and wait because I probably have played a lot of the games that you're churning into this. So I'm going to sit there. Got them from gold. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm just going to wait and wait and wait, and at some point or another, there's going to be a game on there that I want to play. When I do. I'm going to take a free trial, I'm going to rinse that game, and then I'm never going to use Pass again. Yeah. That's from that. Cool. So, shifting on, um, Nintendo stocks are soaring. Uh, they are living the dream, the highest it's been in five years for them. So, it's a case of Q shit eating grins all round? Yeah, there's just lots of pictures of smug CEOs next to IPs being like, this is my fat Italian plumber that's made me millions. Yes, and we're now pushing out our licensing again. Mwah, mwah. Mwah. So yeah, they're based. It's just lots of photos of like the um, the CEOs just looking smug as fuck. 
fair play really we've done it again it's another cash cow um, yeah so with that more Nintendo news um, so we've known it's been coming for a while but now it's been solidified by Nintendo with some imagery we're seeing the well I don't think they actually solidified it it kind of leaked well it <laughs> leaked but yeah they're kind of like oh right okay here it is um a, a combination that I never thought would really come together. Do you reckon that this was the uh, the Ubisoft IP that they talked about years and years ago? It was ready to come out. It's just that when we've finally got the user base and Ubisoft have seen the Switch sell like shit off a shovel, and they've gone, yeah, okay, let's go. When, I, when have you got a window? I, I see this particular game announcement. I see this as, at some point or another... Nintendo got a stonking deal, but they had a liability in there which said they had to put a Mario into a Rabbids game. Yeah. And so we get Mario, the catchily titled Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle or Kingdom's Battle. Um, wank? No, I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a bit more of a diplomatic approach and I'll, I'll uh, say, let's see, let's see how it pans out. Okay, all right. Because... Knowing, hopefully, it's a case of it's more of a, like Nintendo have gone to Ubisoft. You can have Mario, but you bring it to us first, and we'll put it through the meat grinder. We'll make it, and we'll pepper it in, and we'll, we'll some actually tune in it there. for you and make sure it's fun. It's a very good <laughs> idea for them. I'd be surprised if it goes wrong, but um, it yeah, could do. it could do because it's got We're, Ubisoft let, there. Let's just say it's a sort of a hand wavering. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, Trust me, I know what to do with this IP. No, don't. Please don't. Please stop. Let it it down. To be fair, though, he's the only chap that actually knocks out fun games. Who? Uh, Michael Ansel. Mm. All, no, to, to be fair, though, all of the stuff that's popped out of his side of the studio has all been like at least fun. Give me one example. Uh, Rayman Legends. Fair play. To be fair, it's all it's all been pretty much Rayman Legends and Origins, but but they know. they can do a mean platform. Yeah, they are pretty good games. Cool. Okay, so um, another little announcement. Well, it's not really an announcement. It's uh, Dragon's Dogma is coming out this fall. Um, yeah. I, you know, fall's always a very American term. That really is autumn for us, I guess. Yeah. Um, uh, even then it's just it's the place for them is it is it the period between summer and Thanksgiving yeah uh, maybe so I mean I, I, I kind of find these dates to be like somebody's trying to announce something using like a mortar like yeah. whammy somewhere in that area over there well, no, it's, it's one what? of those that you <laughs> that's know that's not an announcement you, like you turned around and just aiming for the basket yeah it's just like uh and then turn around, no, it's completely missed. There's just no defined date, though. No. They're just kind of going, we're kind of going for somewhere over there. I would imagine, uh, because it was obviously it was announced in Famitsu for the Japanese side of uh, the market, um, with the same date this fall. Um, and also Eurogamer and a few other websites were obviously pointed to the uh, article or the tweet that was announced on the UK uh, Dogma Dragon's Dogma Twitter account um, so yeah it's probably coming to this it's the same time frame really but I think it's just more of a case of tying up localization issues um, but I know it's the PC port so it shouldn't really be much of a problem again I think it's a case with most of the news and the announcements and the teasers of announcements it's a case of sort of in Watch a couple of weeks yeah, you'll once, know. once the big bomb of um, news drops uh, with the E3 mm. it's going to um, they don't want it to get swallowed do they so no, no yeah. that's it so um, another one for us was we've got Osir Simulator oh, sorry the Insult Simulator which is that amazing little iOS and Android game where you um, can Steam yeah so yeah. it's been there for a while yeah it's just basically ch- picking out how you want to build up your insult like your mother smells like this hat and yeah, it's, you know, it's, a, it's quite a deep, complicated game once you get into it but yeah. it's great it I've is. built some ridiculously long insults on that so yeah we've big announcement it's finally come into Xbox PlayStation 4 um, PlayStation 4 in May Xbox shortly thereafter in June uh, but yeah I mean this game's amazing I, I, personally I would say if you haven't I, bought it for well yeah if you, well, if you haven't bought it for your mobile wait and you'll find that the Xbox and PlayStation versions are like £10 or something ridiculous and then you'll go back to your mobile and see it's like 2 99 or something just get it on that yeah 
Especially got a tablet as well. Yeah, and get it today. Don't yeah. bother waiting for the release. Wow! I've said it. I've done it. I've put it out there. Um, final bounty to run the go- uh, ground is um, our shitty reviews for um, Rhyme and uh, Street Fighter Four. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Street Fighter Two. The final challengers. Uh, yeah, they've been getting some pretty harsh reviews out there. Yeah, we were checking some stuff out last week, weren't we? Even uh, earlier in the week, and we were looking and really surprised to see on Metacritic that Street Fighter Two. I mean, it wasn't. It's not a surprise that it wasn't amazing. You don't expect it to be a ninety sort of three or sort of knocking around Ocarina territory, but for it to have been like in you'd the expect high sixties. Like well, you'd expect it to be like a low eight, low eighties, well, low eighties right? sort of high seventies, yeah, at least. But no, I was really surprised at that. And Rhyme as well. Yeah, Rhyme got destroyed. Um, but again, I'm not really one for for to be bothered with others' opinions. I'll form my own. Well, I think um, th- there was some. I, I can't talk so much on Rhyme. I've only watched a couple of the reviews, but um, I know with Street Fighter, everybody was just saying price point versus content. You, it just felt like a bit of a rip off. They're saying things such as, you know, this £35 to buy, you know, on the Nintendo store, and you're basically getting Street Fighter. Well, Street Fighter 2 with a couple of few extra characters. You've got an online mode, you've got, yeah. um, you know, a buddy system where you two of you can fight one enemy, um, you've got some extra characters, rosters up to 19 now, but it's basically Street Fighter, you know, and. A lot of people are just going, that's not worth 35 quid. But if you look at what they've done with it, I think this, you know, well, I think it's so much that I've bought it. I'm like, bollocks to your reviews. It's yeah. Street Fighter. I'm hadouking my ass to the next yeah. level on this shit. I'm, I'm getting stuck in. Shuriken. Yeah, baby. So yeah. anyway, yeah, bit of Street Fighter. And, and, and it's got a Kuma, man. Come on. It's got Street a Kuma. Street Fighter with a Kuma. Yeah, happy bunny. Because uh, I was reading about that as well. A lot of the pros that were playing it were like, like that is old school Street Fighter. That's that's what I cut my, I cut my teeth on. That for me, and that, that is, is exactly that. Feels that. Exactly, that just feels right. And it looks great, and the fact that I can go out around my buddies and just whack a controller off. You can fucking mac out some Street Fighter. The thing is, is you because you can play it in the old graphics with the old music. Mm. It's just like. Old sound effects, you know, all the old. Well, you know, we were them. saying about um, uh, Wonder Boy Dragon's Trap. Mm-hmm. I believe I got it right. It's not Monster yeah, yeah. Boy, is it? Um, yeah, they've uh, a real love letter to it, and you've got the options that you can play with the old school styles and sounds and all of that kind of business. Yeah, and you like say it's it's shown that people do enjoy those kind of things. Well, the thing is, is it just shows that Capcom haven't just ported it what they've done is they've gone right do you want to play the new HD graphics but with the old music and the new sound effects or the old sound effect yeah. you know and to be able to tweak it like that so for me I've been playing it in the newer graphics so you get the widescreen yeah and also having the um, old sound effects on it so it's yeah. just like yeah that's, yeah. that's quite a nice good. little touch just a little bit of nostalgia exactly that's a little nibble of the carrot yeah there we go there we go so that's it folks wrapping this bad boy up so as always you know where we are come on there's links below hit them up and also if you love us show us some love hit a like or follow or some sort of subscribe there's some ESG goodness out there more podcasts to see so until next time from Angry Link it's adios muchachos and for me it's uh, ciao ciao bella <laughs> <laughs>